Are you in a place right now in your life where you're really trying to decide what's important? Are you really, or are you in a really difficult place where you just can't decide what to focus on? Today, we're going to focus on five things that are really important in life. So, I'm Johnny Pardo. I'm a self-esteem and confidence mindset author, speaker and coach. And I've or I've always taken quite a lot of action, particularly in the last few years, as I've gone through my writing, through my speaking and my coaching. And I've really started to pick up what's important to me. But I've also investigated from what people like Gary V, what people like Tony Robbins, what Simon Sinek is saying, all these all these big names, what they've been saying is important. And I've really resonated with what they've said. But today I've picked out the top five from what other people are saying and what I genuinely believe are really important to focus on in life. I'm saying this and as I'm thinking this, I'm actually really, really hungry right now and I really want to have lunch and I probably should have had lunch, to be honest. Uh, so lunch is really, really important. But lunch didn't actually make my top five. So I'll get straight into the top five. OK, point number one, be clear on what you want. What specifically lights you up? What gives you enjoyment? You don't want to go through life like a robot, not like ah, 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 ah. You want to go through life enjoying it. You want to go through finding joy in every moment. I was, I, I was gonna say, did I say joy too many times then? But I think enjoyment and joy are separate words. Well, they are separate words, but that's where you got joy in it. But anyway. You want to enjoy what you're doing. So when I'm writing, when I'm speaking, when I'm coaching, I'm really enjoying it. And I also really like my day job as well. I like my social activities. But there are some things when I used to be in the public sector in my job and I really hated it. And just be like going through work and then weekend be like, yay, party. And then it'd be the same thing. And I know there's cases where people do go through life like that. So we do not want to end up in that kind of situation. So really find out what you want in life. And it's okay not to know, but it's not okay to not go looking for it. Number two is very similar, but slightly different. Know the direction in life. And when I say direction, I'm, start, I'm starting to think I want to go to New Zealand, which I do really want to go to New Zealand because New Zealand's awesome. Or I want to go to somewhere in America, probably North America, like somewhere like... New York or California, which is awesome. That's the direction where I want to go. But no, that's not the kind of direction I'm talking about. The direction I'm talking about is what your ambitions are. Where do you want to go in the future? Now, don't get too structured and set on an outcome because then we block flow and we block enjoyment of the journey along the way. But having direction is really, really going to help you. And that kind of is what you want to do, but that's more about enjoying the moment. Having the direction is about knowing you're doing activities to go in a certain direction rather than trying to riot, ooh, sorry rather than trying to blag life so really having a set direction on what you want to do what your ambitions are is a really really important second lesson i wanted to bring in number 3 is being kind and giving out positive energy is really really important because when we're kind to others it can make them, it can change their day for them. They can start to feel good. And these can be really, really small acts. You don't have to be donating millions to charities. You can just be saying nice things to people like, oh, that looks like a nice cup of coffee you made. I can't believe that's the best example I thought of of my best in my head. Ah, uh, you know, anyway, saying something nice to them like, you look, you look great today. Don't say it in a creepy way, but obviously like that. Or saying that was a really good bit of work you did. Or just smiling past, smiling to someone as you walk past. Just saying hello to someone, good morning. These little acts make people feel good. And when we're giving out positive energy, we're going to feel more energetic, feeling good. We've done something good about ourselves. A classic, what I've noticed in my life is when I felt down and then I just said, or someone just said, hey, Johnny, or said a joke to me. In the past, I don't get down too much now. But when they said, hey, Johnny, how you doing? Or sort of like smiled or said some kind of like compliments to me. It's changed my day. So you might be changing someone else's day. But when I said something nice or helped someone, when I've been feeling rubbish as well, it's also made me feel an awful lot better. 
So I think it's really important that we're kind and give out positive energy to other people. And that's a really, really important thing in life. So think about how you can start giving more positivity to people, more positive energy and start being kinder to people. You might not always get it back, but think about how you can apply it on a regular basis to start to feel good. Point number four is different from three. Comfort zone and fear. You have got to get out of your comfort zone and face fear. Really, really important because we don't make progress unless we take action. When we make progress, we start to feel good. But it's OK now and then and in the past. Obviously, we can't change the past if we don't take action. I've been fearful and not done certain things in my life. But I have done some very courageous acts like skydiving and doing speeches in front of people when I used to be terrified. But if we get stuck in the comfort zone and give in to fear, we start to lose respect for ourselves. And that can actually have a bad impact on our self-esteem, which I'll talk about in my next book, which I'll reference in a minute. When we start to feel worse and worse about ourselves, we're obviously not going to have a good life. And when we stop ourselves doing something because of fear, that, you know, that's never going to end well. So think about... And sometimes the fear is so great to jump. It's going to be such a great jump. So the classic example I use is if you got to do a speech to your company and you don't like speaking in front of people, that's going to be too big a leap, realistic. But if you start talking in front of just doing a talk to your manager and then to a small group of people, build your way up, that's going to allow you to face that fear just little bit by little bit. And there's other examples. But it's really important to progress and start to feel good that you take action against your fear. And there is no human being on the planet who does not have fear or hasn't at one point in their life. I still get fearful about doing the odd talk or presenting something to a difficult audience. But I know that if I give in to that fear, I'm going to feel rubbish about myself and stay in that comfort zone. So... Just think about how you can step outside your comfort zone a little bit, at least each week. And point number five is absolutely everything I stand for and I'm about. And I think this is so important. Learn to absolutely, unconditionally love yourself as you are. And that's not selfish. It's not arrogant. It's not narcissistic. It Be selfish not to. Because when you love yourself, you give this positive energy and this genuine love for yourself. Not because you've achieved this, this and this. Just about who you are and what qualities, what you give to the world. Your authentic self. Learn to love that person as you are. For example, I spent ages in the last year or so really working to love me. And in the past, if I didn't achieve things, I wouldn't like me. But when I don't achieve things, I'm fine now. Like... Doing this video, I know it's not perfect quality. And by the way, perfect's probably a bad word because nothing's perfect anyway. I know it's not the best video in the world, but see, I keep slipping up on words. I say world in a funny way, but I've got such respect for myself that I'm actually making this kind of content. And you should do the same. Just appreciate yourself for trying and going out there and who you are. And there's not, not everyone's going to like you, but you've got to love yourself. And when you love yourself, you're going to become so much happier. You're going to spread this positivity. And I believe there's so much negativity and hate in the world because pe it comes because people don't like themselves. So they spread it on to another person and then they spread it on to another person and then they spread it on to another person. And it continues. Now, there's obviously positivity out there, which is fantastic. And people encouraging each other and being great. Um, particularly in this pandemic, you, you see a, some people encouraging each other and bringing this positivity amongst obviously all the negativity and, you know, sadness that has happened because of it. But when we start to love ourselves more, that spreads on to other people. So it would be selfish not to love yourself and work on yourself. Now, it's OK not to love yourself in this moment right now. Well, I'd rather you did love yourself, obviously. It's, it's OK if you're in the position where you don't feel comfortable with yourself or I was in a level of self-hate in my life. But it's not OK not to work on it. So just doing little bits of acts of self-love, like telling yourself you love yourself, giving affirmations, watching your diet, caring, caring for yourself, treating yourself, being kind to yourself, journaling, 
speaking to people when you're not happy, people you can trust. And there's always someone, even if you feel like your friend you can't talk to, there's always like Samaritan's Helpline or someone just talking and doing acts of self-love. Imagine you have you may or may not have children, I don't have children, but imagine you've got a kid and you do everything to look after them. Make that person yourself because then it will rub off onto every other area of your life. So that's the fifth one, a bit of a longer one because it's everything I stand for. But make sure you absolutely work to 100% love yourself. So those are my things. I'd be really interested to know what are your three to five things that you think are the most important things in life. Just leave a comment in the comments below. So people will have different views of what's important in life to them, but that we all want to be happy and enjoy life. So that's why I've given you mine. So hopefully you can relate and take action on some of the things I've said. Just to recap what I've talked about today, being clear on what you want in life, having direction in life, having, well, being kind to other people, spreading positivity to others is absolutely important. Coming out of your comfort zone, facing fear and absolutely loving yourself for who you are unconditionally. If you want to go a step further on that fifth step I talked about in terms of loving yourself more and more, then check out my new book that is coming out on Sunday the 9th of August, this coming Sunday, which is The Self-Esteem and Confidence Mindset, where I go into specific stories of challenges I face, but also actions you can take to improve your self-esteem and confidence and your mindset. If there's also anything in this video where you feel like, oh, that relates to me and I'd really like to get past it, but I've got these specific challenges, then please contact me for one-to-one -one coaching. My coaching email is coaching at johnnypardo.com. I'll leave the details in the description as well. If you found today valuable, then please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified of a new video and my new videos come out every Tuesday and Thursday each week. So keep reflecting on what you think is important in life for you and keep taking action on it. And I'll catch you in the next video.